Hey guys, what's up? So, just picked this up on Amazon, and it's the uh, Mini 12854 LCD display, and it's supposed to be pretty tiny. Um, I actually wanted to, I, I, I wanted to keep the the baby stepping feature, and I'll show you in a second why that matters to me. But all right, so yeah, this thing is tiny. It's all I needed, just one little device so I could actually mess with baby stepping. So when I'm changing in like uh, between filaments, between like ABS or PETG or PLA, sometimes you have to change the offset. Uh, one of the nice things about this too is that it communicates directly with Marlin. You know, it doesn't actually, it's not an emulator. It's actually like a, a considered a real LCD screen. So you have your typical basic two inputs. But yeah, I actually, I, I, I put some over other screens over here as reference so you can see the size of this thing. So this is your standard 2004 display. This is a 12864 yeah, ANET display. And then this is a 3.5 uh, inch uh, Raspberry Pi 4. And this is a TFT32 by MKS, MKS TFT32. So you can see how tiny this thing is. And yeah, one of the... I, I'll, let me show my print real fast. So, I mean, I do most of my stuff right now with my 7-inch OctaPrint screener here. Uh, I'll do another video on that, but it's actually OctoBoot. I don't know what it's called. It's called Octo, Octo Screen, I think. Uh, it's pretty new. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'll, I'll do another video about that, but... Uh, yeah, the, the one feature that I want and I think cannot do, like I said, is, is the baby stepping. Baby Z, baby stepping. Uh, but it, it interfaces directly with Marlin. Cool thing too is you can also set your e-steps from these things, e-steps, and uh, a couple other things. But like I said, it communicates directly with Marlin. You can actually you can communicate directly with the Marlin EEPROM. So I've already printed out a little case for this thing already. I want to see if it fits before I take the plastic off. And it's also uh, RGB too, the lighting. Tiny, tiny. It actually has a SD card. I'm never going to print from this because I, I do everything from Octa Print. But like I said, just that baby Z. All right, so I got to find a place to mount this, and we'll get it fired up. All right, looks like we're going to have to probably recompile Marlin to get that LCD on there. Just kind of goes back. That's an SKR uh, 1.3 board, 32 bit board. All right, so I just stuck the uh, SD card in the micro SD card in the uh, system with the new firmware. And there actually is an option in Marlin for this LCD. So right now it's going to probably be updating the firmware on the board. Okay, now I see Marlin on there. I can see it in the back. So I might need to... There's no backlight. <clears throat> Alright, I got it to work. So they actually make three different versions of this screen. 1.2, 2.0, and 2.1. And this is actually a 2.1 and it's controlled by a NeoPixel. As you can see the different colors and stuff, I can change that, but... Yeah, total, total headache. So, um, yeah, you have to go to Marlin a couple different spots. But, uh, the cool thing is it is defined already for the SKR 1.3 board. In the pins, the pins file, so... Alright, well, we'll put it back together and we'll get it going. Alright, let me go back here and start from the scratch. So, your typical Marlin display, but you also have the option of LED control. And you can change the lights, custom lights, change different settings. Uh, light presets, maybe light white, see? Red. Violet. I kind of I like blue or white. Okay. Um. All right. So nice screen. Nice, nice clicks. Okay, that's little screen. So one of the reasons why I still have this screen or want these screens is that under configuration, um, besides the uh, baby Z, the the probe Z offset. You can also have the ability to, uh, where is it at, uh, advanced settings there, 
uh, velocity, acceleration, jerk, e-steps, you know, TMC drivers, you can control that. Those are the Trinamic 2209 drivers I have. I have a current. So this is actually why I still choose to have one of these old style displays. But you can you can make these changes in real time, so it's mainly a jerk and stuff. So I, I gotta mess with my jerk and acceleration on my y-axis because I'm getting a little ghosting. So I want to be able to do this in real time. Alright, cool display. Okay, so to enable some Marlin for the, the SKR 1.3 board, uh, enable the option for 2.1 if you have that board, and then enable NeoPixel. It's pretty simple, just two lines of uh, code. But hit me up down below, I'll, I'll show you what it is if you want to know Marlin. Alright, cool. Awesome, awesome.